Hey, you're at Steve Tech. In this episode, I'm going to show you about why you need to check every single thing. It doesn't re does not matter if the cylinder head is brand new from GM, from Dart, from Brodix. I don't care who it's from. You want to check this stuff because we're assembling and that's exactly what we do on every one of these things. So this is a brand new Dart cylinder head right here. I'm going to show you uh, exactly what's going on that we found just out of the box. Okay, now we're at the cylinder head, and what I'm going to show you is, we'll zoom in here. We always lap in as we're putting new valves in. Sorry about that. As we're putting new valves in, and we want to check the valve job that they've already done. Sometimes we'll cut different valve job with different angles and stuff. We're not talking about angles and all that right now. We're actually just talking about physically making the right contact on the valve. As you can see here, we lap this, and what lapping means is we take a little bit of compound this little bit of lapping compound right here and you put just a little dab of this uh, basically it's a gritty solution you put it on the valve you go in go like this take it out and what that does is it takes off the die that you see right there you can see where this valve was hitting if it was hitting all the way around if it's concentric very quick, easy way of verifying where you're at. But what we found in this particular application is that, I'll show you the valve seat. You can actually see right there that the valve job, where it was actually touching at, is way high. It's way up here. Okay? Which means the valve job itself was cut too small for the valve that they recommend. This is the proper size valve that they recommend. This is a some uh, nitrided valves that we use that we have available on our website but uh, this is the correct valve for this valve job and they just missed it uh, not by much I mean this would run perfectly fine and seal up but it's still not right so we're gonna go in here uh, now so we can cut this and we'll show you that we'll just go over to the next chamber and this is our seat cutter and I'll pull back away from this and we will uh, show you how this gets cut We'll then relap it all at the same time and show you what the proper, uh, what it's supposed to look like. Not like this, but it moves down closer to the edge of the valve. This, this is called the margin right here, margin of the valve, this, the flat area right here. That's called margin, and we need to move closer down to the margin so that the valve job uh, seats properly transfers heat properly into the valve uh, the it, exhaust valve and intake valve basically the same exhaust valve will be a little bit wider seat margin or seat than what this is they also have a wider margin all for heat and so we'll show you how this gets cut we'll show you what it looks like when it's all done what it's supposed to be So when somebody is cutting a valve job, or they talk about doing uh, cutting the valve seats, this is exactly what they're talking about, or it was what they should be talking about. This is a, a fairly high-end machine, uh, uh, a Rottler machine. Other people have some different stuff, and that's all fine. And let that spark out, which just means that we're making sure that it leaves a final finish on it. And what we'll do is I'll show you and we'll start out with another new valve for the uh, lapping. So I take it out. I'll we'll show you what the seat looks like. That and Dylan's uh, forearm. So that is now what our... So we just cut that seat. It used to be all die chemed up. Just like this. This is die chem. That, the pink is die chem. So that's what it looks like now. You can see in there uh, the valve angle, the 45 degrees. So there's multiple angles on here. Like I said, we're not going to talk about these angles right now. They, they're, that's not super critical because what we're really wanting to get across is this is why you just don't put box stock to get stuff together. The vast majority of the cheap engines out there, they're really cheap, inexpensive, a deal, whatever you want to say. 
they're just throwing stuff together and it's not right so it takes time it takes machine work we've already resurfaced this cylinder head we talked to you about that in the other video about the surface finish that they're not flat most of the time when they come from the factories from from being new you know so we always put a resurface just give it a little bit of haircut we call it that's already been done with this and now we're touching up the valve job so what i'll do is i'll back up here and we'll have uh dylan lap that in They'll put a little bit of grinding compound on the on the valve there. You can just see it. Rip. There we go. Now he's going to put that in. You can hear the grit, and all that's doing is we know that our seat is uh all the angles are correct so actually what we're doing is we're verifying where it is on the valve and we're verifying that it is concentric and all the way around this is the best way of doing it this machine also has a vacuum checker and we could check it uh, after we're done with the exhaust valves too to make sure that the uh, uh the ports are not leaking or anything so we'll wipe off this valve and we'll show you the valve now look at this now you can see the difference the shiny is higher towards that side over here you can see the shiny there is just a very thin about ten thousandths or so of shiny on this edge but that's your valve seat area right there that's where it's open at so what we've actually done in this whole thing is we've made everything concentric we've put it in the proper location on the valve and all at the same time we've actually opened up this valve throat area this valve seat area is now bigger bigger than what it was so just interesting thing to know and why we do what we do here and uh, what you should be looking at doing as you're building your own engines so anyways i'm steve morris steve tech